Raider Nation, we got a lot to talk about. A lot has happened in the past 24 hours from the Raiders bringing back some familiar names. Also, the Raiders' former first round pick decides to go back to the Bay Area. Aaron Rodgers talks about wanting to reunite with his former teammate here in Las Vegas. And Rich Gannon believes that Jimmy Garoppolo is a better quarterback for the Raiders than Derek Carr. All of that in today's video. But before we get started, if you guys haven't already, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification icon button to notify you guys when I upload more videos just like this. And you tell them one thing. Just win, baby. It's because you're not feeling Lucy. First up, the Raiders have addressed the defense once again. According to multiple reports, the Raiders have re-signed defensive tackle Jerry Tillery. The former first-round pick for the Chargers was released in the middle of last season and was claimed off of waivers by the Raiders, where he showed a lot of promise, enough to have the team bring him back. Now, we don't know the specifics to this deal, but I'm sure that it'll come out pretty soon. In the eight games that he did play for the Raiders last season, he started in four, racking up 10 total tackles. Tillery may not be the big name free agent that many fans would have hoped for, but he does provide a solid rotational piece on the defensive line. Now, I understand that there is a lot of fans out there complaining about the defense, but this is the fifth defensive signing the Raiders have made since the start of free agency, following Marcus Epps, Brandon Faison, Roderick Teamer, and Robert Spillane. So, with that said, this is a solid signing for the Raiders, and I hope this isn't the last time they address this position. Now, Tillery wasn't the only former Raider that has resigned, because according to Ian Rappaport, the Raiders have also re-signed Jakob Johnson to a one-year deal. Now, Johnson will be going into his second year in Vegas under Josh McDaniels. Last year, he was a crucial part of the running game, helping Josh Jacobs to his best year of his career while adding five receptions for 10 yards. Let's just hope that the Raiders can get a deal done with Josh pretty soon so they can reunite him with Jakob. One huge signing that the Raiders just made was bringing back right tackle Jermaine Illuminor. Now, we don't really know the specifics of this deal, but it's great to see that the Raiders are bringing back some homegrown grown talent and I know that Jermaine Illuminar was one guy that didn't really start off the season on the right note last year but he quickly proved that he could be a starting right tackle in the league and I believe that he did a solid job throughout the season. The only knock that I do have on Jermaine Illuminar last season was the penalties that really cost us at certain points. Other than that it's good to see that the Raiders are trying to shore up this offensive line and bringing in a guy like Jermaine Illuminar back to the team is a huge plus for the Raiders and I, I like the signing overall. Now Jermaine went on Twitter and tweeted, Colton and I will be the best tackle duo, not only in the AFC West, but the NFL this upcoming season. I'll show y'all consistency. And that's the type of energy I like to see out there. And I do hope that they could be the best tackle duo in the NFL because we desperately need it on the offensive line. So with that being said, hopefully the Raiders could sure up the interior of the offensive line. But outside of that, I hope that the Raiders could focus more on the defensive side of the ball moving forward in free agency and the NFL draft. Now moving on to a guy that won't be back in the silver and black, and that is former fourth overall pick, defensive end Cleveland Farrell. He signed a one-year deal with the San Francisco 49ers per Adam Schefter. Now, as you guys already know, Farrell has been a controversial player in the Raider Nation, mainly because he was picked fourth overall in a draft that was really loaded with a lot of defensive talent that the Raiders could have definitely used. But since then, we already know that he hasn't lived up to that fourth overall pick hype, but Cleveland Farrell has had his fair shares of ups and downs on this defensive side of the ball, whether he was playing for John Gruden or for Josh McDaniels. He has shown spurts of being a solid defensive end slash defensive tackle for the Raiders in the past, and in other games, you barely seen him on the field or he just didn't make that much of an impact. Now, one thing that I would say that the Raiders will miss with Cleveland Farrell was that run defense. What he lacked in the pass rush, he made up for it against the run. So with that being said, I know that Cleveland Farrell is one of the uh, few players that actually got a Raider tattoo when he was drafted, and you know what? I wish him nothing but the best for Cleveland Farrell and his future endeavors over there in San Francisco. I hope he does a great job. Unless he's playing the Raiders, then I hope he does shitty, you know? But at the end of the day, once a Raider, always a Raider. Stay at him. Aaron, was it, was it always the Jets, was there any other teams that potentially you knew that were were trying to get you, or was it, or was it just retirement Packers, Jets? Yeah, that's a good question. I think there were other teams that were interested, and obviously there's, um, you know, certain players that I have a lot of love and affinity for, and the reuniting with uh, especially one specific person would have been um, uh, obviously Devontae is, in Las Vegas. But, You're talking about Devontae Adams? Not, not mentioning any names, but, uh, <laughs> you know, 
There's definitely one particular guy who him and I have this you know, special kind of unspoken rapport. So oh, that's Devontae. Any... Okay, yeah, that's Devontae yeah. Adams who's <laughs> currently on the Las Vegas Raiders. Yeah. Uh, but you're right. Yeah. Even Devontae Adams tried to recruit Aaron Rodgers to come here to Las Vegas. But as you guys already know, the bag on this or the Raiders really losing free agency, not going out and trying to get a guy like Aaron Rodgers to come over here to Las Vegas. Yes, of course, I would love to see Aaron Rodgers over here in Las Vegas reuniting with Devontae Adams. And I feel like that connection could definitely succeed over here in Las Vegas. But you got to think about it. It was going to cost the Raiders a lot to get him. Two first round picks plus the $50 million that he was already guaranteed. Looking at the status of the Raiders right now and where they're at, I feel like the Raiders were better off with signing Jimmy G as their next quarterback. I don't really think that the Raiders were 100% into going out and getting Aaron Rodgers. If they were able to do it, then fine. If not, if it just seemed like too much, I felt like they were just going to step back and just let another team worry about it, like the New York Jets. Like I said, it would be nice, but it's just too much of a price. I'm okay with what the Raiders have done so far, but Raider Nation, I want to get your guys' thoughts on this. What do you guys think about this? Do you think that the Raiders did drop the ball on this, or do you feel like the Raiders are doing the right thing and just moving forward with what we have right now? Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. So one really interesting thing that I seen in the past day or two was a clip that I seen from Rich Gannon talking about Jimmy Garoppolo, a better fit for the Raiders right now than Derek Carr. Now, I know that's a bit of a hot take among the Raider Nation, and I've talked about this already in my initial video of Jimmy Garoppolo, and I've told you guys that I feel like Jimmy Garoppolo is the right quarterback for us, at least for right now. I mean, not the right quarterback for us, but Jimmy G is definitely a better fit for the Raiders offense than Derek Carr is, especially in this system under Josh McDaniels. And I've told you guys that over and over again, but the fact that we hear this from a former Raiders quarterback that took this Raiders team to the Super Bowl is really interesting to hear. So here's what the former Raiders MVP had to say about Jimmy G and Derek Carr. The Raiders have found their new quarterback in Jimmy Garoppolo. And I really like this move for both the player and the team. In my opinion, this is a bit of an upgrade for the Raiders, not necessarily in terms of arm talent, but in terms of a quarterback that I think is proven that he can put his team in a position to have a chance anyway to compete for division titles. And that's something that Derek Carr wasn't able to do with the Oakland and Las Vegas Raiders. The other thing I like about Jimmy Garoppolo is he's a great leader. I think he brings some toughness to the position. I think he's a guy that understands how to build relationships in the locker room and he inherits a pretty good offensive roster. And keep in mind, he's going to a system and a head coach that he worked with his first three years in the league. You go back to 2014, 15 and 16, Jimmy Garoppolo's offensive coordinator was Josh McDaniels with the New England Patriots. So there won't be a lot of new learning. He can come in day one and pick up that playbook and be very familiar with the concepts and the, and the terminology and the verbiage. So I think that's a win-win. And also for the Raiders, this gives them a chance to add a veteran quarterback that they can plug in and play. And also continue to look at developing that position through the draft. I'm not suggesting the Raiders will use a first round draft pick, but, but if they see a quarterback that they like, they can use multiple picks uh, to move up uh, either you know in the second round or in the third round to find a quarterback that they feel has a future as a starter in this league so overall a very good day for raider fans and i definitely got to agree with rich gannon on this i mean he basically said everything that i've said in my initial video like i said before acquiring a quarterback like jimmy g for the price that we got him for really gives the raiders a lot of flexibility throughout the off season whether or not we want to go into the nfl draft and get a quarterback of the future whether that is a will levis or waiting for a hendon hooker later on in the draft on top of all of that i know that jimmy g is not a flashy name amongst the raider nation but we're getting a guy that has a winning track record compared to Derek Carr Jimmy G in his whole career as a starter is 40 and 17 Derek Carr is 63 and 79 so take it as you will Jimmy G has playoff experience he's won playoff games he's won four playoff games to Derek Carr zero and in the Super Bowl I know that he lost and I know that there's going to be a lot of people out there saying that the 49ers defense carried him to the Super Bowl which is understandable they definitely had a great great defense and that's something that we don't have here in Las Vegas but we do have a lot of offensive weapons that could possibly cave
later to Jimmy Garoppolo. And you think about it, the 49ers before Jimmy Garoppolo got there were barely winning any games over there. And when Jimmy Garoppolo signed over there, they started winning. So take it as you will. He may not have all the flashy numbers out there, all the flashy throws out there, but one thing's for sure, Jimmy G in the right system with the right pieces around him can go out there and win games and hopefully take this team at least to the playoffs this season. So with that said, I'm gonna keep being optimistic about this move until it doesn't pan out for us, but to see Josh McDaniels and Jimmy Garoppolo pair up once again in this complicated offense, I have a lot of trust in this regime. Whether or not you're gonna root for the Raiders this upcoming season, that's on you. I'm gonna continue to root for this team and root for Jimmy G as our quarterback of the future. But with that being said, Raider Nation, what is your thoughts on this of what Rich Gannon had to say about Jimmy G? Do you guys feel like Jimmy G is a bit of an upgrade over Derek Carr? Or do you feel like this dude is just talking nonsense out there and we should have just stayed with Derek Carr as our quarterback moving forward? Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. Until the next video, this is your boy Samore Raider and your boys. Yeah. Started off in Oakland, now we here. Now we here. Thought that we was done, we just hit another gear. Look, started off in Oakland, now we here. Now we here. Hey, pull up with the nation in the silver black gear. Look, 